This is my homemade hydration system. I call it the Hackback, and today we're talking about it. There has been a recent change here. And because of that, I'm not sure how much time I currently have available to film and edit stuff. So for the next few weeks, it's going to be stuff I can talk about extemporaneously and film very easily and put together very easily. So bear with me. I'm going to continue to try and do more involved things. I have a lot of cool recipes on the back burner right now. I have a major repair job I would like to film. But for the time being, it's going to be little quick extemporaneous things until I can get a pattern and a rhythm dialed in. Nonetheless, if you'd like to consider maybe pressing that like button or the subscribe button, I have prepared for you a handy diagram on how to do exactly that. <laughs> I bridged over from Cub Scouts to full-on Boy Scouts in 2000. And at that time, camelbacks were all the rage. All the cool kids had camelbacks. I was not a cool kid, nor was I able to really afford a camelback, but I wanted one. I loved the idea of just having a backpack full of water you can tote around, and it just was so clever. Of course, back in 2000, a camelback cost about 60 to $80, which in today's money is like $500 million, thanks inflation. So anyway, I decided to improvise. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go build my own hydration system with blackjack and hookers. In fact, Forget the park! And I made this, or realistically speaking, I made the first variant of this. This is my Mark III version. It's gone through several revisions over the years. Basically, I took all of the savings I had from chipping brush and firewood and stuff on my parents' property, doing chores, that sort of thing. I went down to REI. REI was this new thing in our town, and I bought this dromedary bag. This is an MSR. Uh, drum light dromedary bag and I actually bought a four liter one to begin with this four liter one and then I also picked up a Nalgene cap because Nalgene MSR they're all owned by the same family and they keep the same thread and pitch and diameter so you can interchange all the parts across them that was my secret there then I borrowed my dad's drill drilled a hole got some brass fittings in this case an elbow a nipple on the backside and a hose barb, a few feet of vinyl hose, and a platypus bite valve. I remember talking to my friend Ethan, who had a platypus hydration system instead of a camelback, and he swore by the bite valve. And I swear by the bite valve. It's a two part deal. It's a lot stronger than the camelback bite valve, and it seems to last a lot longer. I had friends back in 2000 who had the camelback bite valve, and by the end of a season, the bite valve would be completely shot. It would be leaking and dripping. The platypus people never had that issue, so I got the platypus bite valve. I like it a lot better than the camelback bite valve. My first version of it, Mark I, actually had two hoses. The idea being that I could have it on either strap and I could just reach over. Interesting idea, bad idea. It's just a lot of extra dead weight. And of course, when I was backpacking, I had my hydration system in a separate smaller backpack on my chest. <laughs> so the idea of even reaching over a shoulder strap was just, it wasn't relevant. Mark II variant was this same hose, the same bite valve, but I added a camelback thumb valve to it. And I really liked that because I could shut it off and on. And just having that extra layer of water security was kind of nice. And that version got me through my first major backpacking trips. It got me through my ghost mine expedition all along the Sierra, following the old mine, mining territory in the Sierra. That was a really good system. And from there, I actually went and got myself a Camelback. I got the Camelback Mule from a surplus store, and I hated it. I didn't like the bite valve, go figure. I didn't like how difficult it was to screw and unscrew the cap. I didn't like the fact that none of my filters would just mate to it conveniently. So after about a season of using that, I robbed it of its quick connect system and added it to the collective here. You will lower your shields and prepare to transport yourself aboard our vessel.
I do have complaints with this. Um, it's heavy. This is particularly heavy. And I'd like to redesign it, but at the same time, it just, it's always worked. It's always been so dependable. I mean, it's gotten me through every major trip I've had and some minor trips too. Cool things about it, since I have this quick connect, my uh, filter system, which is a uh, platypus gravity works, I can just plug it right in. So when I need to stop and top off, I just plug it in, fill up the bag, set it aside, go consult my map and plan my next step. Really handy feature. The other thing is I can go anywhere from a two liter dromedary bag up to a six liter dromedary bag. Now that seems excessive, but most of my day hiking is done in the chaparrales of the Maakamas mountain range, and there is not a lot of standing water up there. So if you're out in the heat, you need a good stash of water. And a four liter dromedary bag actually helps with that quite a bit. I know a lot of ultralighters will probably be balking at that, and I have to admit for backpacking, I just do the two liter one, but the four liter for longer day hikes is really nice. Other features, I have this insulation tube. You can buy insulated tubes from Camelback, or you can go to REI and spend like $3 on a three foot length of climbing rope, the flat climbing rope, cut and fuse the ends and just slide it over and now you have an insulated sleeve for your tube. That's pretty cool. Uh, this dust cap, I love this. This is the uh, platypus version dust cap. I think it's very important to have a dust cap for your hydration system because you never notice when it's like dragging on the ground. This keeps dirt and possibly E. coli out of your face hole. Get a dust cap. It is interesting to see that hydration systems have fallen almost completely out of favor in the backpacking community. And I think that's a shame. I have done the two smart water bottle trick before. I like it, it works. I've done canteens, I've done it all. <laughs> this is still my favorite way because it's just out of the way. I can just plug in whenever I need to. I can camel up whenever I need to. This is a really cool system. And if you want to do your first DIY setup, consider doing a hydration system. It's cheap, it's easy, and you can make it work however you want. That's really cool. All right, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking the time for me to show you the hack back, my, uh, my buddy of many years. And I hope it got you thinking about what your next DIY project is. Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know what you've got planned. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Hike safe out there. Be well. Take care.